Joseph Bell, chief engineer of RMS Titanic, was from Farlam, Cumbria. The Bell family were yeomen who had been farming for many decades in Farlam. The family home, Farlam House, had been extended many times from the 17th century onwards. The future engineer's great-grandfather, also called Joseph, and his great-grandmother Mary have their initials JMB, Bell, 1818 carved over the current front door. Joseph Bell was born on 12 March 1861 to John and Margaret Bell of Farlam, Cumbria. As the first child he was named after his grandfather and great-grandfather. He was baptized on the 4th of May 1861 at Farlam Church. The young Joseph Bell's mother Margaret, Watson, came from a similar farming family in the next village. A second child Jane was born in 1864 and named after Margaret's sister. The third child Richard Watson 1865-1882 was named after Margaret's father. The fourth and last child John was born in 1868. Margaret died shortly after John's birth. In Farlam churchyard is the family headstone. It records the passing of Joseph, great-grandfather, then Margaret, Richard and finally a tribute to Joseph Bell and the engineering staff from the Titanic. The inscription is similar to that found on the Titanic Memorial in Southampton. Joseph's father John had inherited the family farm from his father in 1849 at the age of 17. He had been brought up by his grandmother as his mother had also died after the birth of his younger brother. John married Margaret Watson and continued farming in Farlam. It is thought that the children were educated in a private school in the village. In the 1870s, following his wife's death, John moved with his children to Eden Town, Stanwix, Carlisle. The children continued their education at William Harrison's Academy at Earl Street, Carlisle. John's younger brother Joseph immigrated to Australia on the SS Great Britain. Joseph and his daughter died out there but the rest of the family returned and lived latterly in Carlisle. The young Joseph left Carlisle and went to Newcastle as an apprentice engine fitter at Robert Stevenson's and Company. George Stevenson was a regular visitor to James Thompson of Farlam Hall and son Robert even made a donation to the new church appeal. Thompson's collieries were along the fells serviced by railways which had been developed in conjunction with the Stevensons. Thompson and sons bought locomotives including the rocket from Newcastle as well building their own at Kirk House. Living only a mile from all this Victorian innovation it presented an attractive alternative to farming. Bell joined the White Star Line in 1885 and served on many vessels trading on the company S New Zealand and New York services. Joseph married Maud Bates in 1893 in Ripley and had four children. Francis John, Frank, 1896, Marjorie Clare 1899, Eileen Maud 1901 and Ralph Douglas 1908. Jane Bell, sister, married William Hugh Lothian in 1886 and they spent a number of years living in Ripley where he was a bank manager. It was probably during this time that Joseph met Maud. The two families were close and in 1901 Jane was looking after Frank when the third child was born. At the time of the Titanic disaster, William was a bank manager in Carlisle. At the age of 30 Joseph was promoted to chief engineer on the Coptic. In 1911 Joseph was in lodgings in Belfast with his wife and the youngest child. On the census return each lodger has filled in their own details. Joseph's occupation, Chief Engineer SS Olympic, White Star Line. Birthplace, Farlam Village, near Carlisle, England. The lodging house was run by Emma Johnston, referred to in Joseph's letter to Frank written from the Titanic. The two daughters were being cared for at the family home whilst young Frank was boarding at Grosvenor College, Warwick Square, Carlisle. A private school for boys run by William Graham. A member of the Institute of Marine Engineers and of the Royal Naval Reserve Joseph Bell lived at 1 Belvedere Road, Great Crosby, Liverpool but had a temporary address in Southampton. Joseph served aboard the Olympic before being transferred to the Titanic. He stood by the ship during her construction in Belfast. His cabin was on F deck. Bell died in the sinking leaving behind Maud and their four children. After the sinking of the Titanic and the death of her husband, 
Probate was granted in London to Maud and her brother William Ralph Bates £6,457 to his 10d. Maud inherited the family farm at Farlam which had only been part of the estate since 1904 after his father died. Although she never lived here, family relatives ran the farm until the farm was sold. Joseph Bell is remembered on a brass plaque in St. Faith's Church, Cosby, Liverpool. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.